hey everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here i'm charlotte and today's video is going to be another monthly favorite i say another i didn't actually film one last month at the end of december just because obviously december is quite a busy month um and i was obviously having a bit of time off between christmas and new year so i didn't film a December favourites um, but today I'm going to be chatting through everything that I've been loving throughout January and as usual we've got a bit of everything beauty skincare fragrance hair care fashion of course um, and I'm going to get straight into it and I am going to start off with beauty I'm going to start off with the lipstick that I'm sitting on <laughs> I tried to gather a few bits in the chair around me um, but I'm going to start off with the lip combo that I am wearing today. I've spoken about this lip liner before briefly in a vlog but I've not mentioned this lipstick which is a new one. Um, but first off the lip liner, this is the Beauty Pie lip liner in the shade Rummy Pink and this is such a good dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lipstick in the, in the shade Super Size Me, which is my favourite lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury. This is such a good dupe for it. So if you are a member, obviously with Beauty Pie, I'm not sure if you know how it works, but you have to be a member to get like the um, like the lower members only prices. Um, but if you are a member of Beauty Pie, then this is definitely one to try out because it is the most perfect shade of nude. It lasts really well. It, it goes like it glides on really smooth really really great lip liner um, but i have got it on today teamed with this mac lipstick in the shade modesty and this is a new discovery for me i've not tried this before um, and it's slightly different to what i would usually go for because i tend to kind of go for more of like a peachy warm nude shade more of like a peachy tone to it or like a yeah like a warmer tone whereas i feel like this is quite a cool tone nude so if you do prefer a cooler nude then I think you would like this. It's more of like a, it's got a pinky cool tone to it. Um, so if I just show you, I will insert a close up actually so you can see it better. Um, but I've got that on today, today with the lip liner and I think it's really nice as like a winter nude because I think sometimes cooler tones do work slightly better in winter. And as with most MAC lipsticks, this is a really lovely formula. This is one of their cream sheen lipsticks. So a lovely, slightly like sheen to the finish. Um, and I've just been liking this little combo together recently. Um, but another lipstick that I have mentioned before that I wanted to quickly mention again because I've just, I repurchased this before we went on holiday um, because what I love about this is you can put it on and it lasts all day. And this is the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink Liquid Lipstick. Um, it's like a satin finish and it is gorgeous. That's it at the top there perfect like corally shade like corally nude for holiday and if you're looking for a liquid lipstick that lasts so maybe not all day but it lasts really really well if you're going out for dinner um but also doesn't dry to a matte finish it's like a lovely satin finish this is just fantastic so i wore this pretty much every day or like every evening when we were on holiday and so i thought i'd give that a little mention as well another new discovery this month is the new charlotte tilbury highlighter this is called the hollywood glow glide face architect highlighter and i've got it in the shade gilded glow and it is just beautiful i've got it on today but i will pop a little bit more on now so you can see but it's a lovely warm almost like a kind of champagne-y gold tone it's got a lovely warm tone to it which i think sometimes a lot of highlighters can have like a quite a cool tone um but this is really really pretty and i've just been using this brush to apply it this is the charlotte tilbury powder and sculpt brush which again is another favorite because this is the softest brush it's so lovely to apply highlight with so i just pop a little bit on now like i said i have already got it on um, but it just applies so smoothly. It's almost like a really lovely, like buttery texture to it. And it just gives a really beautiful glow. And obviously it's buildable as well. You can put a little bit on for during the day, or you can kind of really build it to give it like a lovely glow of an evening as well. I usually just pop a little bit up here, tiny bit down my nose. Um, and yeah, really, really pretty. And they've got lots of different shades as well. So if you prefer a cooler tone, then it also comes in, um, I think there's like about six different shades i'm not sure but obviously i will leave the shades that i've meant like that i'm using for all of these pieces below um but yeah really really beautiful highlight and speaking of charlotte tilbury highlights i wanted to quickly mention this as well because i took this on holiday with me and again use this every evening this is the pillow talk beauty light wand i feel like every man and his dog is that the expression i feel like everyone has tried this or used it or knows someone that used it or seen someone raving about it on tiktok um 
but this is in the shade 2 medium really gorgeous like bronzy highlighter lo that lovely dewy glow and of an evening on holiday i love that kind of like really lovely dewy fresh look so i just kind of was dabbing this on my cheekbones blending it in it gives a lovely yeah really lovely glowy highlight so i have been loving that and i've nearly ran out next up is a hair mask and i've literally just nipped outside to get this out of the recycling bin because it's recycling day today the bins have gone out and i thought i wanted to mention that that hair mask and obviously when i finished it i popped it in I popped it in the bin. Oh, this is awful. I've just, I've just opened it and I've seen it's got like a mass of hair inside. Obviously, well, I've kind of like probably, I don't know. Does anyone else do that? Like when you're putting your hair mask in and then like you, obviously you get a bit of hair that falls out in the shower. You don't want to leave it to go down the plug and block up the drain. So I obviously just kind of leave it on the side of the shower and it must have just put it in the bottom of there and put it in the bin <laughs> and then into the recycling as well but this hair mask is amazing and um, it's the living proof restore mask treatment deeply nourishes and reverses damage and i used this throughout um probably throughout december and january i probably didn't mention it in december because like i said i didn't do a favorites video um but i used this the last couple of months and it's just really lovely it's left my hair feeling silky smooth like i finished this um when did i wash my hair i think about three or four days ago i finished this off um and yeah it's just left my hair feeling really silky smooth shiny it's just a really lovely hair mask next up is a fragrance that i was loving last month and i say last month because this is the fragrance i took away on holiday with me i always like to take a, like one fragrance and kind of use that every day and make that try and make it like my holiday fragrance so, so the smell reminds me of that trip which I feel like I don't know that that's actually worked but um, I'd say that this is definitely more of like a summer fragrance it's another one from Beauty Pie and it is called Figua de Dalmati <laughs> I'm sure I pronounced that wrong um, but it smells it's got a really kind of different fragrance like a different scent to it um, it's, to me, I can really smell coconut in it, but I'm sure when I checked the um, like the fragrance, like the fragrance notes online, I don't think it mentioned coconut, but it's got a lovely summery, yeah, like I said, a coconutty, that kind of holiday scent to it. Okay, I've just found it online and it says, a modern, dreamy, floral, inspired by the lusciousness of fig. The Dalmati fig tree loves the sun and there's a definite solar glow to this intoxicating flo floral fragrance. A decadent heart of frangipani and gardenia yields to the delicate sultriness of figwood and vanilla, luminous and beautiful. It's got top notes of bergamot oil, blood orange oil and mandarin oil, middle notes of gardenia and frangipani flower, and then base notes of figwood, vanilla and heliotrope, which I've never heard of. Heliotrope, heliotrope or heliotrope. Um, so I haven't got any coconut in it at all. It doesn't say it has, but maybe it's like the frangipani and the fig that I can smell. Anyway, really, really lovely. If you've got a holiday planned or if you're looking for like a nice kind of spring summer scent, then I definitely recommend giving that a try. And then a skincare favourite I wanted to quickly mention is the Skin and Me Daily Dose. And I did mention this in my last video. If you saw like my Zara Come Shop and Me video, I was obviously working with Skin and Me on that video. Um, so I spoke about this in quite a lot of detail on that video. So I won't kind of speak too much on it. But when I was thinking of my favourites, this was definitely one of them. And obviously this isn't an ad, that was an ad, but this isn't. So like, obviously I'm not on, under any obligation to feature it in a monthly favourites, but I genuinely have been loving this. And when I was thinking of what's, like, which skincare favourites I wanted to feature in this video, this was absolutely top of the list. So it is my daily doser from Skin and Me. If you haven't heard of them, um, it kind of how it works is you fill out an online consultation, kind of talking all, like answering lots of different skincare questions and talking through like your skin concerns and you want to, what you want to change, what you want to achieve. Um, it's about 15, 10, 15 minutes. Um, and then you kind of get prescribed a um, skincare daily doser that will work specifically for your skin and for your skincare goals. Um, it kind of, you click it, you twist this round and you click it every evening and you get the exact right amount that, come out, that comes out. You kind of twist it until it clicks. You get one application, apply it every evening. Um, and I have just felt like I've seen such a difference in my skin since I've been using this. I've been using it for around two months now. And I feel like my skin, especially considering 
we are in the middle of winter and like I know I went away last month but even before that my skin was looking so much brighter it feels so smooth I feel like I've noticed a real difference in the texture of my skin um, and the active ingredients change each month as well so your skin as your skin adjusts like they start off lower and then they kind of build up each month so your skin can, can adjust to it slowly um, and yeah definitely recommend trying that I do still have a discount code that will give you your first daily doser for £3.50 so if you just wanted to give it a go and try it for one month and see how you get on you can do that for just £3.50 so like I said not an ad but just wanted to quickly mention that in case you missed that video and you've been thinking about trying Skin and Me I feel like it's a good good chance to try it out um, without spending too much money so I will leave that link below as well then moving on to fashion and I've just got a couple of new in fashion favorites this month first up is this co-ord from free people and I feel like holding up is not going to do it justice at all it's definitely one of those pieces that you need to see it on so I will insert a cutaway of a picture of me on holiday I wore it I actually ordered this to take on holiday with me just because I wanted a couple of new outfit but anyway I ordered this co-ord from free people so first of all this is a skirt it's like a wraparound skirt and I know the print looks a little bit kind of like slightly different to what I would usually go for um, it's kind of like a green and like an orangey gold sort of leopard print um, but obviously the skirt is like a long wrap skirt and then this is kind of like a little crop top with a asymmetric neckline and then long sheer mesh sleeves very random um but i wore this on holiday one evening i think it was like the second evening we were there and i just loved it i felt like it was something really different for me um i love a co-ord anyway and i just think it's really really pretty and like i said it's from free people it comes in lots of different well not lots of different but i think it comes in three or four different color options as well so you can obviously get this one but I think it's like different colours and patterns as well but I just thought the tones of this was really gorgeous and very different and also I love the fact that the pieces can be worn separately as well so the wrap skirt would look gorgeous with just a black body or maybe like a little black crop top this would look cute with a pair of jeans or a black skirt and then my final fashion favourite new in my wardrobe this month is this beautiful blazer and I mean how gorgeous is that I haven't actually worn it yet hence why it's still got the tags on I did only get this a couple of days ago um, but I wanted to feature it in this video because I just think it's beautiful and I feel like it's going to sell out really quickly in fact it does actually cut well it doesn't come with but you can also get the matching trousers um, but I really want to order the match trousers but they've sold out in my size I'm hoping that they restock because I feel like this would look stunning as like a full suit um, but obviously it will be gorgeous on its own as well. I feel like the shade of, it's kind of like a really lovely pale camel beige, really flattering, warm neutral and will work really well with my winter wardrobe but I also think this will work really well coming into spring as well just styled with a white t-shirt and a pair of jeans. Um, it's quite a, it is a wool blend so it's got the a little bit of thickness to it like a little bit of warmth but it's not thick like my like my and other stories blazers that are really thick kind of like a coat this definitely feels like you can see it's a bit thinner definitely more like a blazer the fit of it is perfect I'm wearing it in a size UK 8 and I would say it's true to size really really lovely quality I love these kind of brass buttons obviously double breast double breasted and then it's got the button detail on the cuff as well and just a really beautiful blazer and I can see myself wearing this and styling this a lot. Then the final thing that I wanted to mention are these gorgeous little hoops that I'm wearing from Majuri and again I got these last month and actually the reason I ordered these is because I've got a pair the same size from Majuri like in a kind of like a little bit thicker 14 karat gold just a plain gold pair and I have been wearing them so much I've been leaving them in sleeping in them they're so comfortable and I wanted something similar that I could keep in, that like I could kind of have as an everyday hoop, but also sleep in as well. And I spotted these. They are 14 karat gold, and then they've got diamonds, like a tiny row of diamonds on the front. Or do they go all the way around? No, just on the front. 
um, and they are just so pretty. They're perfect size for every day. They kind of work with all of my outfits. They've got that little bit of sparkle on them, but not too much so that you couldn't wear them every day. And they're still, um, still very simple and very kind of classic as well. And I just think they're gorgeous and I've worn them every day since I've got them. Um, they do also come in other sizes as well. I think you can get them in a bigger size and then a bigger, like a slightly bigger size and an even bigger size as well. Um, but I'm pretty sure that this is the smallest pair and I just think they are very pretty and I've been really loving them recently. Um, so that is everything that I have been loving throughout January. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, everything I featured will be linked below in the description box along with sizes of any of the pieces or like obviously shades of any of the lipsticks or anything that I mentioned I will leave all of that information in the description box. But thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye.